Okay, so the next thing I'll show you on your uh, text pattern site is how to work with files. It's very similar to working with uh, images. So again, within our content section, we're going to go to the uh, Files tab. And you can see we get a list of our files that are currently on the site. Um, we can hit the Browse button just like we did in the uh, Photos section and select a uh, select a, a file we'd like to upload and then we'll hit the upload button okay this is telling our file has been uploaded if we wanted we can add a description to it um, as well generally again you wouldn't do that um, so now if we go back to our list of files we'll click on the files tab see our new ones in there so to add this to our site it's very much the same as we would do with images we're going to click on the text pattern build tag and then we'll just ask it to uh, build as our tag now you can change the name of the file from here as well if you would like um, as well as you can change the link text so this is what's going to be highlighted so right now it would say canning workshop invoice dot PDF and we would click on that. Now that's a good name actually that it describes what it actually is so you want to avoid for search engine optimization SEO or for Google you want to avoid naming things um, file 92-610. Um, it doesn't describe very well what that is it makes it difficult for people to find it when they're doing Google searches so you want to just name your file something that makes sense. So we'll build that tag and again it's the same thing so we're going to copy this um, code and then we would paste that into our article again you can see it's uh, fairly simple to um, if you wanted to uh, alter that code within your site to have it be um, file number six and this is our link text right here this that right there so we could change that and that would become our new link text or you can always of course just keep coming back here and use the text pattern build tag it's very simple um, there's a couple other things that are kinda neat on here uh, downloads so this will tell you how many times this file has been downloaded just a nice little statistic for you to see if people are utilizing it or not and of course if you would like to delete this file it's the same as deleting pictures we press on the little X and confirm that we would like to delete and it's gone that's simple